Howdy, 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 <laughs> Nancy. It's a lot of howdies. <laughs> hey there, Woody. Yeah. It's a lot of howdies for someone who's not here, Dennis. Howdy, 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 howdy. That's the only way to greet someone in Tennessee. That's true. The Tennessee accent is, well, okay, I won't say the Tennessee accent. I will say the, is it Nashville? Who would, Don't whenever they you, say, work for that, you work for that insurance company and I feel like so, there was, there was a Nashville I, office. Yeah, but I, okay. So I worked with a lot of people in Tennessee and it seems like they didn't say Ville. It was always Vol, like Nashville. Nashville. Like Louisville. Yeah. Like Vol. Louisville. Like, um, <clears throat> so they had some offices in Nashville, but also Murfreesboro which is where Jennifer was from and her dad. And that's where like uh, Jackie Adair, I guess was from. We got to get Nancy B on a stream. I want to know how she sounds. <laughs> Out of context. <laughs> said. <laughs> I want to know how you talk, oh, Nancy. <laughs> oh. How to <did> mouth move. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of mouth noises you be making. <laughs> Oh man! Hi everybody! Hi! Hi everybody! <laughs> Everyone's saying hi to me in the chat. I feel so popular. You rock! <laughs> oh, she's you rock, not you from rock. Tennessee though. That's why she's not Na Nancy B from Tennessee. From Tennessee. She's just, oh, she's, she's, she's just, just in, in Tennessee. Yeah. Semantics. Yep. Technically, where are you I from, was... Nancy? Oh. Mini focus are. on yeah. through chat. We just yeah. ask Nancy a question and she, we have to wait for her to answer in chat. <laughs> just we silently wait for her answers. And Nancy, what would you change about all of us? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Favorite sandwich, yes, that right? Definitely won't like hurt our feelings. <laughs> Say it with finesse. Think about it. <laughs> Jacksonville, Florida. Florida. That's where my brother lives. That is lives. where your brother lives. That One is where my brother lives. Yeah. He earns a living as a musician. Yeah, that's what I just said. So. Yeah. <laughs> no, you didn't say he's a musician. I think you said he was a musician. I, I said that but he lives in Jacksonville. Yeah. Obviously, everyone in Jacksonville is a mu musician. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's Maybe high competition there. <laughs> Who is paying all these musicians? <laughs> You're just walking over guitar cases. <laughs> it's just deafening walking down the streets there. What well, competition? <laughs> How's your week been, Eric? Oh my gosh. Kids are on spring break. Spring break, ours baby. Too. Just started today, actually. Oh, nice. Uh ours started Friday. Ooh of last week and uh they go back this coming monday but uh, i <laughs> took monday tuesday wednesday off and gina took wednesday thursday friday off so i had the kids monday tuesday well like i was saying technically they went to grandma grandma on tuesdays so <laughs> but uh wednesday we had coordinated our day off together that we went down to the toledo zoo and it was 38 degrees and windy. <laughs> it was cold. <laughs> so, uh, but we still had a good time. Uh, saw a bunch of cool animals. Uh, the tigers, there was a mama tiger with two cubs, like eight month old cubs. Oh, it was, it was awesome. Kitties. Yes, I miss, we missed the baby elephant by minutes. By minutes, we missed the baby elephant. So, like baby elephants being born? Well, apparently very recently had been born. Oh, wow. And they had it in like uh, an indoor viewing enclosure, but they closed at 2.30 and we got there at 2.26. Mm. And they're like, oh, ah. I'm so sorry. We're not letting any more people in. We're just ah, escorting yes. everybody out. Yeah, I know. I'm like, Argh. so we sat right outside and ate our lunch. <laughs> we were like, we're not going. We're, we, can't eat, we can't eat lunch. We got to get this baby elephant before it closes. But we didn't make it. We took a wrong turn and got stuck in a children's village. And the kids are like, I want to go down all these slides. And we're like, we're trying to get to the baby elephant. 
<laughs> that's what that children's village is. It's just a, like a distraction gauntlet. Like, yeah. It's pretty much of a, oh, you want to tire you? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Here's a jungle gym and whatnot. But, uh, and then Gina was off Thursday, Friday, and she took him to like an indoor, I don't want to say indoor water park, but it's like a Macomb activity center or something like that and uh they got to swim and go down a water slide so they were having a bunch of good time and then today she took them down to Belle Isle and had a play date with her friend um and oh um I also went to the planetarium this past weekend too with the kids oh, which was super fun they fell asleep <laughs> Inside the it's planetarium. dark in there, so yeah, yeah, I, I get that. It's, it's nighttime in the planetarium. If it was like mid afternoon, I, and I got after a lunch, picture I of be it was perfect. Uh, I leaned down, I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I uh, got a picture. I'm like, I leaned down to take a picture of Ava sleeping, and uh, the exact moment Gina hit the button, her eyes shot open. <laughs> so there's a picture of Ava going. <laughs> <laughs> and me going right next to her. It's awesome. At the planet uh, area. But I, I had a pretty good week. Pretty good. Planet nice. area. Planet area. Your, your kids are well, having about you? a better How your spring week? break than our kids. Uh, so our kids' spring break started today. And it's next week. And they're going to enjoy a week of being at home while we work from home. We don't get no spring break. <laughs> no. They um, have access to devices and entertainment and, and things like that. Yeah. Lillian's going to be busy with her new gecko. Yeah. So, actually, I wanted to bring that up in chat because I'm curious, uh, the people in chat who have experience with reptiles, what we're encountering is the gecko's terrarium. It has to be a certain humidity level but actually the humidity is kind of high right now mm -hmm. and if she doesn't mist it then like the plants get all like the leaves get dry but right now the humidity is like 90 percent and it should be 80 like what is it like 60 to 80 or something like that yeah it's supposed to be like around 80 percent so, and it's like 98 percent yeah it's a I'm little bit less what... with the new hygrometer in there yeah i'm just wondering what More might accurate. be the issue if it's like not being misted but then like if we don't mist it and we let the humidity drop you know what do we do about the plants and the plant the leaves needing some moisture so it's kind of like a you gotta strike the right balance with that we're new to terrariums so yeah kind of a learning experience for us yeah do you know eric Take a guess. Uh, I did have, <laughs> yeah, I, 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 well, I did. I do have some experience with reptiles. I did have. Am I glitching out? Because you guys are glitching out. Is it? Me? I don't know if it, you did for or us, you? but I don't know if, yeah. it, I don't if it's, it's us glitching. Okay. Can you hear us? Who's glitching? I think it's me because my. I don't know. I can hear you, chat, but you're frozen on screen. Chat, who's glitching? Oh. <laughs> I don't know if it's me. We can hear you. And then sometimes yeah. you guys go robot voice. Oh, good. Oh. You can hear me just fine. I okay. Yeah. Goodness, it's me. Yeah. I don't. I don't matter. <laughs> yes, you do. Oh no, you froze again. <laughs> uh... I don't know. But we hear I talked you. about reptiles, and my computer is like, "No, fish only." Uh -huh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm not working for reptiles. But um, I, I had a red-footed tortoise, and it needed humidity. And I never saw. I mean, you can get like mold and other like respiratory issues if you have That's too much heard, yeah. humidity. I believe. Yeah. But, um, you know, it's, I come from a very dry climate. You know, it's very dry here, except, you know, for at least two months, it's humid. But um, I just had a humidifier that arched, had to make sure the mist was falling, like, directly into the, the tank. And 
never had a problem. Sometimes, you know, it would hit like 100 degree or <laughs> like 90 or, or 100. And, um, you know, it's a tortoise, so it's not going to, I had it in an aquarium. It's not going to get out. So um, I had a towel over the, the grate, the like screen. So I would just open up more so that more airflow could get in. Yeah. So Alex is saying have a small fan on a timer. And someone else is asking about the airflow. It's um, it's like so it's a 20 long with a with a plexiglass front on it. And there's like holes at the top of the plexiglass. That's all the airflow that it is. Like That's all it's got. Yeah. So maybe it needs more. Um, a fan would would work for sure. Um, if we could figure out how to wire that in there. Um, cause yeah, like the plants are one thing. I just want to make sure that the, that the get go is going to be all right. Right. Yeah. I mean, I guess we could always put the gecko back in her temporary enclosure and like, just leave it open for a few days and see if we could circulate some air in the terrarium, yeah. like just leave the door wide open and missed it. So the plants are fine and the light is on. So that's yep. a, another option we could do if it like needs a drastic. And we do have, uh, I saw Coro had mentioned springtails for mold. We do have springtails and isopods in there. Do we have springtails though? We might have springtails in there. We <sighs> will get more springtails likely. <laughs> I need new glasses because... We had we had this can of springtails that's in black carbon, and I, like we pour it out, and I all I see is carbon. Springtails are black too, right? So like I don't right. I, I don't know if we if there were no that springtails spring in there or not. Are they? We've I'm, seen I'm, pictures on the internet of them being both colors. Great. <laughs> well, uh, so Winky said, "How are I you from New York? You don't have the, a New York um, accent." Go ahead. What happened? I don't know. I'm glitching out hard. <laughs> oh, you can't hear us? <laughs> uh, well, sometimes you go robot. Uh -oh. <laughs> and then I'm like, oh, yeah, and then this. And <laughs> I don't know if you can hear me or not. I don't know. Why? Hmm. I think Gina's still watching the internet well, with the kids like <laughs> oh turn that kids off been going to bed at like 10 o'clock okay well in 15 minutes the internet will calm down maybe <laughs> oh, uh, fingers crossed <laughs> rachel said glitching so hard right now is it it's just eric because like for us eric sounds perfect like, yeah I, I don't hear any glitching mm -hmm. that's crazy okay I I see, yeah. You guys kind of go robot and then catch up real quick, and then your screen is frozen. Like Steven's frozen right now. Jenna's frozen right now. I don't know if you can hear me because it's super quiet. I, I can hear you. <laughs> yeah, we can hear you. <laughs> Shady Grady says everyone is oh, perfect. Awesome. AV. So let's. <laughs> like, let's I don't just... know what's going on. I think everyone's having a different <clears throat> experience tonight. <laughs> if we uh. uh... Yeah. Eric is but trying I, to I gaslight was us it, into it, thinking there's technical issues. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, you guys, no, even no. <laughs> oh man! But I was gonna say that Tanner uh, from Serpa Serpa, um, the springtails that I see on his channel, I, I, like, are mostly white. Oh, okay, but. Uh, like when he adds springtails to to tanks. Well, there may or may not but be springtails in there. But so what we, we, we did is order some more. We put the springtail, we dumped the whole bucket of like carbon and maybe springtails into a bowl and flooded it with some distilled water and scooped out as much of the water without carbon as possible. And put it in there. 
Yeah, like Zen said, they could all just be coated with carbon, so they're they're black even if they weren't meant to be. I yeah, I don't know. I do not know. But I mean, I'm sure there's room for more springtails if we want to be extra safe. Yeah. So yeah. would y'all say people who have heard Oinky speak at the clash, she kind of has a New York accent. Yeah, you know, she's not saying coffee. You no, know, not mean? like that. Yeah. <laughs> she doesn't she does have an accent? I, I, I mean, I wouldn't say it was. It's distinctly New York, but mm -hmm. you can tell she's northeast. Definitely northeast accent. So <laughs> I don't need to have any specific accent to recognize an asshole. <laughs> so we couldn't add the carbon because it's all planted at the bottom, and the carbon would have covered yeah. up all the plants. We didn't think um, that through. So it's easy to add the isopods. <laughs> it's real easy to add those. Mm -hmm. There. Okay, so we did get them from Josh's frog. She said, when I first get my springtails in, I feed them for about a month and let their numbers build up before I add them in. There are only a few in the carbon that they send you. Okay. Yeah, uh, we'll we'll try again just because we don't know for sure. So we'll we'll give yeah. it another shot. Yeah. And Cora said they have springtails at Petco too. Okay. Yeah, that might actually be easier. Just pick them up locally. Yeah. <laughs> um, I replaced all my roosters with ducks. Now I wake up at the quack of dawn. <laughs> So I just wanted to, you know, real quick, since Eric was talking about how freaking cold it is up there, I just wanted to brag that, you know, spring has sprung for us. Ah, rabble, rabble, rabble. <laughs> the lily pads just started firing off and the can is growing that uh, Kelly sent and uh, this like whatever spiky rush thing in the back is going nuts and the corkscrew rush and yeah and there's uh, um there's like some rice fish in there some gold madakas so we'll see how those do yeah so yay for that yeah and um we have what like five or so baby adolfois <gasps> yes we've been uh, i've had baby adolfois before but I, my grandfishies. Feeling, <laughs> yeah, I'm feeling <laughs> confident this time that we'll actually raise them, you know, and and, and they'll live. Because mm -hmm. now I have Jenna feeding them too. Because, um, like, yeah. it was just me having to remember to feed them, and that doesn't go well. They need to be fed often. <laughs> and All the time. Yeah, like skipping a day of feeding fry is not good. No. Well, I haven't taken the water tip uh, in the ponds, but like it's been in, it can, well, I don't know what is it right now? 65. It's the temps have been pretty stable. So I'm sure the pond is probably in the sixties as well. Okay. Yeah. It gets to maybe like the forties or fifties at night. Mm -hmm. And then it's in the seventies to eighties most of the day. So like you said, the pond water's mid about mid range. Mid sixties. Yeah. Yeah, because it's been pretty stable temps for for a little while. Do you ever put a heater out there? No. Um, so I did put some coal guppies out there, and I think the winter killed them. Um, but I'm I want a year round fish in there that doesn't require uh, a heater, mm -hmm. and I'm hoping. I mean, if Kelly can keep goldfish in like the harshest of horrible, horrible winters uh, in Indiana, then like, I, and it, also she kept rice fish too. And it like freezes, like legit freezes there for, oh, for yeah, negatives. months. Negatives. Right. <laughs> and around here, it it, it might in the, in the worst Dip case the scenario yeah, or go into the teens like overnight or something. And then it'll, it'll warm back up to the twenties or thirties. It, like we don't stay below freezing for more than a couple of days at a time, and no, it maybe happens two or three times a year. Jelly, so jelly. In the in the aspect of fish keeping, but I love the cold. 
Okay, I'm, but then in the summer, it's just unbearable. So Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> the trade-off. But we can be inside. Yeah. Yes, you do have two air conditioners. Yeah. And it's not scary to drive when it's hot. Like, it's scary to drive whenever it's like a blizzard. Well, I mean, it's just as long as you give, it's the respect. It's respecting the condition. Mm-hmm. It's because sometimes, you know, I'll, I'll pull like when it's snowing out uh, and whatnot, I'll get in my car and I'll forget that. Oh, hey, I have to increase my braking distance. <laughs> pull up to the stop sign and try to stop, but I can't. <laughs> and I'm like, ah, I'm going to slide out into the main road. <laughs> And that little heart attack jolts me into like, okay, yeah. I'm going to give myself five car lengths instead of three car lengths. You know, mm-hmm. like it's just giving that extra car, a couple of car lengths, taking the corner slower and you'll be, um, what is, I saw a local newscast or something was like, pretend like you're driving your grandmother uh, in the back seat while she's holding an open dish uh, of, of gravy of biscuits and gravy <laughs> <laughs> and whatnot. Like that's how you should drive. <laughs> I uh, totally you know? forget that immediately. Mm-hmm. But yeah, well, sorry, just, Grandma, you got gravy I, in your lap. <laughs> yeah, hold on, Grandma. <laughs> <laughs> there was hey, Mark. I uh, just want to say thanks for being a member for uh, twenty-four months, two years. Finally, there was one time. Um, when I was in college, we were married and normally if it snows, the whole like city shuts down, but LSU was like, we're not shutting down even though it's snowing and the roads are frozen and we lived here. LSU is like 45 minutes an hour away, depending on traffic. If you're going like 10 miles an hour in the snow, it's definitely an hour <laughs> And Stephen had to drive me because our yeah. our classes were can- canceled, but mm-hmm. our advisor had scheduled meetings with us in groups for 30 minutes. And she, because the school was open, she refused to reschedule those. So. <laughs> Lovely. Oh, my God. Oh, and you know what, Jenna? You know what freezes first? Bridges. <laughs> she won't go over a bridge though. I know. I, I mission bridges even deadlier. <laughs> I will go over a bridge. I don't like it. Oh my gosh. I'm sure you saw on the news what yeah, happened. The Francis Scott <laughs> Key Bridge. Yes. Mm-hmm. I did think That's of crazy. you. <laughs> well, I just I told her, like, yeah, new fear unlocked for bridges now. Like now it's there it's not just it's like the other... same fear it's not a new fear unlocked <laughs> you were you were always fearing boats it's colliding bridge with boom. bridges like... bridge no but boom. falling off the bridge into the water doesn't well, matter how well falling off or bridge falling <laughs> yeah. technically i would thing, still I be falling from the same height oh man driving over the Mackinac bridge is is white knuckling because like you just get vertigo. Like, I don't know, like being that high up, it's like 15, like so high. I don't want to, I've Stephen, look up how high the Mackinac bridge is, bridges, but um, it's super high. And there's two lanes each going each way. And the center lanes of both of, you know, both traffic is a grate, a metal grate. So wind can pass through. So the bridge doesn't, you know, swing its way. <laughs> And the they just replaced the grates, and these new grates, they like make your car go like, and it's like terrifying. And of course, there's always construction on the bridge, so the right lanes closed down. You gotta go over these grates, and it's like, but it's so worth it to get to the Upper Peninsula of Michigan because it's awesome. 168 meters. I don't know. Time. I always say times three. Just cause I don't know yeah, why you would tell but... me the answer in meters. Like, this is not. <laughs> Damn you, Bing! <laughs> <laughs> it just tells you it's like 1200 Howie Mandels. <laughs> See. Why would I do that? Okay. 
Oh, Shell, she she makes, Shell's from the UP. She know, yeah. Her husband drive on the grates. But see, here's the thing. Steven would obviously be the one having to drive, mm. but he, he like doesn't care that I am very afraid of bridges. And he's like, let me look at my phone and type a comment on YouTube. Let me I would get never do such and a look thing out the window. And it's on a like, bridge. And it's I would like, hey, can you just until we get over this? Br- you you both certainly You're just have. way too hyper aware of my eyes, and you see them straight. <laughs> they should be straight anywhere. ahead <laughs> and both hands on Flip the wheel. The fuck out. <laughs> I can just see, like, Lord, Lord have mercy if Steve, Steven sneezes. <laughs> that I'm not me. going on a bridge and it's like, hey, everybody, just lurking, lurking oh, and driving. My <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> you want to see a sick flip? <laughs> you want to see me? Go live. Let's hey, go live. 168 like... meters is 551 feet. And, yes, I will get to the participants list. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, Isn't there open, some actually. sort of like Gee, FFL there. meters to feet <laughs> thing? Oh, I don't know. It's like 3.3. 3. 3.3 feet is a meter. And so I always yeah, just times like three. I, and yeah. I always say like, if it's five meters, I always go, oh, that's over 15 feet. <laughs> <laughs> Which technically yeah. is not wrong. <laughs> uh, okay. 44 participants, including... Benjamin Peters, Big Cat, Big Steve, Bionic Bigfoot, Boots Cats, Boots Cats, Bunny Viper, Candy Overholes, Capri's P, Craig's Catfish Cave, Dennis Christensen, Fathom Aquatics, Fish Fam Link, Foxy's Fishes, J-Rock Does Stuff, is, is doing stuff. I saw him earlier in the chat. Mm-hmm. Uh, Jeff Kane, Kara C, Kalish, Kelly Foreman, Coral Works, Lily, Linda Worth, Liquid Zoo, Only Fins, Mark Sterlson, Amiric T, Mountain Greenery, Nancy B in Tennessee, Nathan Hovey, Oink Master Supreme Forever, Our Aquatic Universe with Mike B, Passing Wind, Peplin Creek Aquatic, Sandy Dowdy, Scotty the Fish Freak, Sketty Nona, Shady Grady, Shell, Silver Creek's Wildlife, Skipper's Aquariums, Me, the Bipolar Fish Keepers, and Ginger, TJ Autocross, Fives Aquatics, and Whips World, who is uh, at, at, at the movie seeing um, yeah. the, the, the Kong Godzilla. Godzilla. <laughs> yeah. um, also, Bob Purcell and SC Catahoulas. Hey, Bob and Cat House. Welcome in. Um, speaking of candy, I don't know if you saw, um, she posted in Fish Cord that she got her Myrtle desk mat. And oh, yeah. Somebody else did. We I got, got mine today, too. Did you get one, Eric? No. Oh, no. Oh, okay. no. We got oh, our no, mugs today. It up for you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, um, I forgot. After this, I have news. After I completely forgot. Okay. And then look a towel. Look how bad it looks on green screen. But in real life, it's an excellent towel. And <laughs> also, my shirt came in. Nice. With so, yeah, I didn't. So I didn't know that the towel and desk mat came in today because our mail carrier dropped a box off at the front door. And then left. And what does he normally I, do? Come in, give you a kiss on the cheek? No. <laughs> or he put stuff in the mailbox. But, Sometimes they'll leave everything but on the porch. Usually they leave everything on the yeah. porch. Mm-hmm. But like he drove off. He didn't, I didn't see him. I like mm-hmm. went and got it as he was leaving it because I thought maybe it was Myrtle stuff. And <laughs> I didn't see him put anything in the mailbox. And then I brought the trash cans to the road because tomorrow morning is trash day. And I was like, let me just make sure there's no junk mail in the mailbox that I forgot about. And there was the other half of the package. I don't know why he left some of it in the mailbox and some of it on the door. Oh, my gosh. I would get so mad at my letter carrier because she would like Jadrin for his membership would send like a prince these these prints yeah but um and it specifically on the envelope it says do not fold mm-hmm. and just, you know we have a little mailbox on the side of our house she'd roll it in to <laughs> curl it up put it in the mailbox i'm like i had fold. i got the same package of prints and ours came just like that yeah very very annoying very like annoying you, and i talked to her about it i'm like you can just throw it on the yeah. um on, on the front porch like I cover front porch, not going to get rained on. If it does, you know, oh well. 
Jason's cool. He's he said another one. Oh, I never got messed up. So, mm-hmm. um, but yeah, yeah he, our our mail carrier is, is is good, but he doesn't work yeah. on the weekends. So we get a different one on Saturday, and that's like the substitute doesn't give a shit mail carrier. Sometimes he works on yep. Saturdays, but not every set. So there was one Saturday that we were getting the Kamakas from Foxy Mm -hmm. and they were coming in on Saturday and we were supposed to meet your parents. And it was like, well, now these fish are coming. We can't like go an hour away and go have lunch with his parents. No. So I actually like drove through the front of the neighborhood and found him. And I was like, Hey, do you mind if we get our package now? And he knows pretty much who everyone is in the neighborhood. And he's like, yep, mm. here's your box. So you don't have to wait now. <laughs> Every time you see fish coming, I would be like, at just because I've driven in your neighborhood, I'd be waiting <laughs> on that street. right? The yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, uh, pardon. <laughs> they're pretty, they're pretty consistent with mail here it usually comes between 11 and noon oh so, yeah it's ups it's ups that delivers uh, yeah at the end of the day for you is coming back and to the adult boy <laughs> zinger zinger said she's only down to two pygmy quarries which is sad oh no we have some that have been colony breeding Right. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. I, I have them divided into two different tanks and yeah, they're, they're happy having fun. Um, so Bob Purcell was asking, did we go to Aquafest? Has it happened yet? Yeah, it was last weekend, which we weren't really planning on going because Grant and Shelby weren't going. Yeah, that was literally the only reason we were going to go because we knew that Jess wasn't going to go and we didn't know anyone else from Fish Fam who was going to be there uh, like definitively. So, right. Yeah. Yeah. So, but especially like this past weekend would have been an especially hard like we just kind of wanted to be with our family mm-hmm. so oh, it was last saturday okay yeah, yeah it was, was last was saturday amazing. yeah that was like even out. if we were planning to go right. like we weren't gonna go i didn't even realize uh <laughs> yeah oh i forgot mm-hmm. my news oh yeah news um, I got the AOK to start working full time from home. Oh hell yeah! So with my uh, L183s, I've been feeding uh, sparsely mm-hmm. and a lot of baby food, but for the babes, mm-hmm. but not a lot of waifs that they can. How many babies do you have? Uh, fifteen. Well, I put fifteen from the first batch, and then five, maybe six from the second batch. Um, and you can definitely tell the second batch fish from the first batch fish because <laughs> they got their good half inch, uh, size on them and everything. Uh-huh. But, um, you know, I have wood and plants and everything in there, so I can't really get an exact body count, an exact census or whatnot. But when I do feed at least, you know, seven or eight of them come out of the woodwork to get, get the noms on because, uh, the adults wait until like I sit <laughs> and not move an inch for 20, 15 or 20 minutes before they come out. Or I, I just leave, I just leave the room because I know how they are. And I'm just like, dude, just come eat. <laughs> I <laughs> refuse. Gonna... I'm like, yeah. I, I purchased you, Pleco. You will, you will come out. Perform for me. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> dance, Pleco. <laughs> dance, Pleco, dance. So are they, are the starlights, are they, uh, 100% uh, herbivores? Uh, they are in cistrus. Uh, but I feed them pretty heavy on the meats. So, okay. um, I, you know, it's not Arby's. It's not, you know, we have the meats or anything. But uh, I feed them a mix of spirulina algae, veggie wafers, um, extreme catfish wafers. Yeah, those have um, some fish meal or something in it, right? 
Yeah. And uh, I feed them insect meal. Oh, God. What's the uh, the musel? The musel. Uh, so we're at Keystone Clash, the guy who was selling all his plecos for dirt cheap because he was getting out of the hobby. Back in yeah, the uh, uh, two Amen. tankamen. Yeah. Uh, so we, his name wasn't Amen. His his name what the was hell Chris. Did that mean? Chris. His name was Chris Layton. Why? Chris Layton. Why was the name of his store two tankamen? Two tankamens. Uh, used fish bazaar or something is what it was called. Well, yeah, and Maria Z. Bizarre. Maria Z. Was sitting with him a yeah. lot. Maria yeah. Z. Yeah. And Steph. So uh, I got held for like Chris amazing like if you have a podcast or you want to talk plecos have him the fuck on because he knows his ish he um i'm not gonna lie at the beginning of the conversation i did not want to talk to him and he was holding me verbally <laughs> hostage uh be like yeah yeah he's like oh yeah another another thing but he just got to we just got to talking about plecos what he was about what he fed his routines and we just got like the more he talked the more i was like yeah, and I'm like, okay. It's like that Vince McMahon. Uh, well, I guess now he's not that great meme choice and whatnot. <laughs> but of the like of the progression of like, oh, who, oh, ah! <laughs> like that uh, progression. Of just because he was just telling me all this, uh, how he got his plecos to breed and his feeding routine, his you know importance of clean water and, and everything like that, and. Um, mm -hmm. He recommended this food that was sold kitty corner, like up by the front, uh, I think Pleco Hotels. Um, but it's this German food that is muscle. And it's like, he's like, dude, feed that, like fatten them up with this insect food and this algae food from the same company. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, after you've done that for six, you know, four to six weeks, feed this muscle food. And this muscle food has pheromones or something that's guaranteed to breathe. Like it's, I believe it says it on the label. Like I translated oh. it with my phone because it's all, all is in the German, y'all. <laughs> oh, yeah. So uh, <laughs> you you put this this food in and whatnot, and it works. I mean, these these plecos, my like everything in the seventy five uh, was breeding besides the L two O ones, my sturbis and. <laughs> Uh, orange Venezuelans uh, breed like rabbits as is, so I couldn't really tell. But Alishan says, uh, Two Tank Amen has been attending the NEC com convention for years, always has nice plecos and rare corridors. Yeah, I super, like extremely corridors. nice human being. I mean, a pleasure to talk to. It was my fault. I didn't want to talk to him and was trying to leave the conversation, <laughs> but he was just. <laughs> Just the, I couldn't believe he was just just talking so much amazing stuff, and so you know I got some algae food, I got some insect food, and I got the muscle food that he was. Yeah. Um, well, if you don't know who he is, and it's like I got I got people I know that I want to talk mm -hmm. to, but right. yeah, they had social anxiety to deal with. So get the fuck away, right? From me. <laughs> right. Well, that that sucks. He's he was a hundred percent getting out of the hobby. Uh, I believe so. It was fire a fire sale on amazing plecos. Like I was calling my wife and being like, "Please, can I have it? <laughs> Please, can, can I set up a breeding project in the basement, please?" Oh, how's that going to be this year? You're bringing the whole family, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. 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 So, are there any fish that Gina just like loves in the house that you could convince her, or no? <laughs> um, I did the, she, um, because I love orange. My favorite color is orange. Her favorite color is blue, like Detroit tiger colors. Perfect. You know, we both like the tigers. Um, and, um, so when I first started my 75, I got orange zebras and blue zebras or, uh, I got, uh, mm -hmm. Demace and I are, well, what's the guy's name who got him? I always said Demosoni, but I'm pretty sure it's Demasoni is how you actually say it, the the name of the Pseudotrophus. De well, I think it's Chindongo now. I don't know. I can't keep up. <laughs> the African cichlids get reclassified. All, I don't know. Like every I don't five know years. shit about African cichlids either. The, like yeah. the Mbunas get reclassified all the time. But yeah. um, I had Demasoni, uh, which is blue and black, and then orange zebras, which are obviously orange. So... Um, she really loved the 
the Demesa and I. Um, I did too. That's like one of my spark fishes for breeding. But um, she liked that. And now it's like, well, yeah, the fish are cool and everything and whatnot. But I'm like, but yeah, but look at this whip tail. It's like, look at, look at it. It's so cool. She's like, it looks weird. I'm like, What's she going right. to do at the clash with the kids? Are they going to like go off and do their own thing or what? Uh, I'm, there's like a ton of play structures around. Uh, I believe I, um, there's kid activities. <laughs> He's not and... gonna take them to the to like Dr. Anton Lambage's talk on yeah, Anabantoids. I mean, there's a lot I, of talks happening. Yeah, Ava is super super excited for Shelby's talk, but <laughs> I was trying to get Max into. Uh... <laughs> it's like you like, well, look at the fish and whatnot, and like. Max did was like, hey, let's go to the fish store to Gina. And Gina's like, no, that's a daddy activity. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, you can't just take him and walk him around? Like, Jesus. Come on. Maybe so. you don't want her, because then she'll rush him, and he'll be like, yeah. Yeah, well, Gina's not anti-fish. She's just anti how much money and, and time I put into it. <laughs> Yeah, I am grateful that Jenna is also into it because it is a lot of money and time. And yep. and prior to the fish, my, one of my we were talking the other day about how like <laughs> I keep seeing all these video games coming out, and I'm like, man, I kind of wish I was a gamer again. But like, I know it's such a time suck, and I can't bring myself to like <laughs> dive into a game. And she's like, well, that it, she's like, that's a good thing because you know it was it was a solitary time suck of an activity where <laughs> I would be up all night on yeah you know, like i would never a single player game stop you from doing it and sometimes you would play games with stories and i would watch you play mm -hmm. so we could spend that time together but it wasn't something that we could actively do together like fish yeah fishing. and there's no community well there is a community but the gaming community is horrible like they're not they're not good people yeah one like, out of a hundred <laughs> <laughs> literally one out of a hundred and so like you said know, that uh uh what well, go ahead Oh, sometimes you find that that one out of a hundred friend, like this guy. Yeah. You know, I played with twelve years ago on Call of Duty. Um, like we're Facebook friends, and he's now a realtor. And you know, we're mm -hmm. like, we need to come out to New Hampshire and see you. <laughs> right, right, <laughs> like, right. Because he is super balling now. <laughs> oh. Yeah, definitely one out of a hundred, though. Mm -hmm. Like you said, right. Oh, before so. you read this, uh, Gina came in, and hey, I don't Gina. know if we said hi to Lumpy Dog. Yeah. Lumpy dog, lumpy dog. He's by me. He's in Detroit. There we are. So I, yeah. Um, so Oinky said those are Ed's favorite plecos, or at least the one he'd been looking for. Found a full-grown starlight up here, but the store wanted one hundred and fifty dollars to walk out the door for it. Is that mm -hmm. what they cost? God no. Um, so I mean, you no, can charge a... Ed one hundred and fifty dollars and bring him one of those full-grown <laughs> babies to the clash. Well, that's the thing is like I really, really like uh, Ed and I were really talking about. Uh, well, Bentley and I were talking about it as well. But Ed was really inspired me to get these plecos breeding because I've seen them have eggs before, but always lost. You know, the next mm -hmm. day they were gone. So. Um, that's why I got the egg tumbler and was just keep watching it. And this is where that, that third batch, um, I had a third batch just, you know, completely, or no, I didn't have a third batch go. The second batch had like over 20 eggs, but only five survived because I was going to work, yeah. you know, nine to five every day. Like you got to rotate them like every hour or two, um, even in the tumbler. So... <laughs> get in there with you know with the tweezers and kind of flip them over so that the flow is the uh the the pleco side. parents they don't fan the eggs and all that well like you're supposed the, to the first batch uh the male kept uh, on them for 72 hours but then he ejected them oh and, and i found them within about five hours within like he ejected them uh i last looked at him at 1 p.m and at like 6 p.m., I, I found the eggs were, were ejected. So between 1 and 6, he had ejected the eggs. Uh, the second batch, um, I checked them at, at um, uh, noon. And then at 1 p.m., I found the eggs were ejected. So within an hour, I found that the eggs were ejected. Got them in the, the tumbler and in the um, the other tank to, to tumble. And still, like, 
and I'm just like, I think one egg fungus. Like mm. the, I, I pretty, I think this was on a Friday, so I'm like Saturday, Sunday, meticulously, you know, going over, and then Monday, had to go, and then come back, and five eggs are fungus. Like, oh fuck, mm. got to get in there, like yeah. literally cut them out because they're so sticky, you can't pull them apart. <laughs> it's like, oh no, I cut off the live one. No, I was having that problem with those Adolfoli eggs, and I was even, I used uh, methylene blue water. Eric froze in the best position ever. <laughs> oh, there he is. <laughs> you froze for a second. I'm back. Yeah, you're back. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I was having uh, the Adolfo eggs fungus um, and even in methylene blue. And then I actually, I hatched them in RO water and, that, and then I got like five out of it of the like 15 <laughs> or so. Oh, you're so glitchy. <laughs> Can you hear me? <laughs> Do you even know what I'm saying? Not. No, you, you but now I can hear like you, I can hear you when you say. Yeah. Am I am I back to normal? Yeah, we can hear yes. you near us. <laughs> yes, I can. I don't know yeah. what's going on. Okay. So. Yeah. So yeah, they were talking about fish food ingredients and I, I admit that when I buy fish food, I don't exactly know if I'm buying like good fish food. I'm just buying on the recommendation of somebody else. Uh, he said for fish food, they call it spirulina and then the spirulina has to be in it, but they can use five other algaes and fish meals before it. Yep. Uh, yep. <laughs> definitely. Yeah. I just picked up, um, some nature holic the chris lukop food from germany and uh it's uh, it's it's pretty good food he uh he has a website i don't know exactly how to i don't know how i got to this website either it's that's like totally in german i had google translate it for me but he, i think he posted it on his youtube community tab and was like hey you know free shipping right now even international and i'm like oh snap let me try it so it was like 11 dollars for like a, a small i got small community feed it but it has great hang time in the water column like half you know sinks immediately half floats and um and it's a good float it can go through the bubbles without going down and um uh, the quarries go bonkers as soon as it hits the water. Even the orange lasers in my 75, which are normally extremely recluse, will be coming out of the water and coming out and being like, ah, 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 where is it? <laughs> are they your are they your most reclusive quarries, the orange lasers? Yeah, I would say the orange la I they I would say before the green lasers but uh, no, the green lasers are like I can walk straight up to the green lasers and they'd be like, "Hey, man, what's up?" <laughs> yeah. But the orange lasers, even though there's like 18 of them, uh, just totally hide during the day unless there's food out. And then they'll, if there's food out, they'll kind of be out, out in the back and whatnot. Um, if Rapashi is put in the tank, they'll go bonkers. If this nature holic from Chris Lukop goes in the tank, they'll go bonkers. Um, extreme micro, the they're happy, but they're not going to be like up in the front of the tank. They'll be more behind the plants, being like, okay, you know, we're kind of out looking for it and whatnot. Um, what else do I have? Uh, the moosel stuff, they're all over. Um, Co-op fry food, they're. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the co-op fry food they, yeah they go bonkers for that i just i take the co-op fry food and i just like squeeze it into the guppy mosh pit because like it, they're guppies even so yeah. the babies will eat it obviously but even the guppies are just like go nuts over it yum, 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 yum. it's a it's a quick feed for them yeah. I, I the c123s that i have really they're like if you ever watch doctor who the weeping angels you know what I'm talking about? 
Yeah, where if, if you, you look, if you're looking at them, they don't fucking like move. Like the ghost from Mario. <laughs> yeah, they don't move if you're looking <laughs> at them. It's like they they don't exist. <laughs> they think of you as a T Rex. Okay, yeah, but they don't much. move. Their vision, their their vision is based on movement. <laughs> like, yeah, duh. Well, everyone's vision is based on movement. <laughs> Hey, Welcome Melvin. in, Nabokov fan and Melvin. And Nabokov. this Nabs. is still being worked out because I don't think name with points earned is number one. <laughs> name with points earned. Yeah. So uh, I incorporated the What the Fish scoreboard uh, with Fish Fam oh, cool. link. And Matt's been working on the leaderboard thing. And obviously Myrtle has 1 billion and 71 points. I just added a billion to his total. How the hell did Zenny get so far ahead? Just banking. Yeah. By being talented. <laughs> and Dang. highly competitive. I gotta stop falling asleep. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you stream with us, then you can't in, Rocky I gotta work from home. Oh my gosh, I don't have to wake up at six AM anymore. Uh, I yeah. can wake up at eight fifty. Roll that over, is clock in. Oh my god! One of the biggest perks of working from home is that that commute time goes away. Like the the waking mm -hmm. up, getting ready to like go out in public. You don't have to do that anymore. You just yeah. have to be like presentable from the waist up oh. if you have uh, on camera meetings for any reason. Yes. Oh my gosh! It's gonna be and welcome bo -bo in first baller. class fish. Hey, first class fish. Yeah, on the topic of fish food, though, I was going to say I, um, I've i been buying stuff from Ken's Fish. One of the things that, that our quarries really love are the black worm sticks. But the first mm. ingredient is not black worms. The first ingredient is salmon meal. I just looked it up. Second oh. ingredient is soy flour. The third ingredient is fresh mm. black worms and then followed by wheat oat and gluten flours, frozen or dried brine shrimp, dried spirulina, and then just a bunch of like vitamins and stuff. And like, I don't know if that's a bad thing or not. Mm -hmm. They like it. it. It actually kind of has been like making them want to spawn a little more um, from what I'm, what I can tell. I just, I don't know. I, I say if you find a food that fits for you, that fits your fish, that doesn't give them bloat, right. that doesn't cloud the and foul the water, that doesn't, you know, make a stinky smell because sometimes, you know, food is infused with garlic and whatnot. And so, mm -hmm. like, Corey always saying, like, your your fish room smells like an Italian dinner, <laughs> you know. <laughs> and uh, it's uh, um, whatever works for you. Like, everybody has their own food and, like, legit food. Legit fish food is pretty good, too. Haven't tried that yet, but yeah, I've heard good things about it. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've heard Welcome good things about Ian. a lot of food, and then I've heard like bad things yeah. about the same food, and I, I don't know what to believe. I'm just like, a, I want to get the foods that other people recommend, and I don't get anything that like universally everyone says don't get. This is why Crayfish Empire is like an amazing store. Like, mm -hmm. is Grant back up and running? I think he's yes, been fulfilling I, some orders. Awesome. Yeah. But he does samples. He can does samples. Samples so are good. Get, you can get the food without like that that monetary commitment and try it out yeah. and be like, oh yeah, this stuff does rock. I'm gonna get mm -hmm. a whole bunch of it. And so you don't have to do that, like, oh, I have to pay to try it out. And then like I think I think you still have to pay for shipping. And everything like that but um you know you're not paying 12 dollars, 12 to 20 dollars including shipping to try out yeah. the food and find out you don't like it or like oh my god this clouds of water or, or like my fish don't even touch this you know like it's like grant is awesome awesome highly recommend crayfish yeah for sure you can get a lot of uh like you order one thing that you know that that you like to get and then you can just add all the samples to the cart Right. And, yeah. you know, it doesn't do anything with shipping. So mm -hmm. I do that anyway. Like, even though I know the, the food is good, he encourages you to just, like, add the samples. Sample it. 
Um, so some of y'all I have entered in the scoreboard for what the fish as different names that I just like, uh, like Kalish, for example, I just have her entered as Amisa Kalish. So it's, yeah, it's not going to register. Yeah. You to have go to go and through make and... sure everybody's name is their, is their username and then it should work. So, so that's can my you fault. look up how many points she has since she wants to know? Uh, so if I change my name to douchebag, I should get my point total. <laughs> Let's see. No, I have you entered as asshole. Oh, yeah. there we go. <laughs> asshole <Leo. laughs> Let's see. Uh, Amisa, you've got nine points. Asshole, Yay. you've got 19 points. Whoop, whoop. Put over that ass too fat. Whoop, whoop. Yeah, then like I have I have a uh, Rachel entered as like Rachel parentheses boots cats boots cats for whatever reason. Mm -hmm. Well, how many points does Rachel have? Because she just wanted to know. You have 28 points. You are in fourth place. <laughs> Damn. I'm guessing mine is just Zen. No, you actually typed her name, I think, because whenever he did the leaderboard, it said the Zen Ginger. Yeah, I did change a few to the correct thing. And third place after Myrtle and after name with points earned. Points. I can see Matt uh, in like editing the spreadsheet right now as we speak. <laughs> Fixing your stuff. Yeah. Repairing all of my blunders. Do you know how to code? Me? Yeah. <laughs> no. I, I know how to talk to chat GPT. Touche. So... <laughs> I think uh, I just like. And hey, isn't that GPT. all coding is? Yep. Now that's all it is now. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, it's gonna get so much. I was gonna say so much better, but it could also be so much worse. So right. I, I don't know. It just depends well, on what your your uh, your view of AI is. Like it, AI can be your best friend. It could also be like the worst thing in the world, and it, it's taking away jobs actively. Well, it's hey, like a Myrtle. Hey. Hey, 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 Matt, can, can you please fix that R in leaders if everything's going to be capitalized? Leaders. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I look at AI as like a calculator. You're, you know, it's only as smart as the person using it. Yeah. And I think if you are in danger of losing your job to it, then I, it's it's probably important to be good at prompts like good at using ai and it's like yeah ai can do a lot but you also need someone at the helm to like guide it in the right direction kind of the same thing with like the ai art mm -hmm. but the thing is like it's not going away so you know the concept of evolve or die still stands right unfortunately mm -hmm. well i look at it as like um the atm Everybody said, the ATMs here, uh, banks are dead. We don't need banks yeah. anymore. We just need ATMs. <laughs> but, yeah. you know, in conjunction with, uh, you know, working with the technology, both yeah. survive and perform and do a basic function, you know? Right. Um, and, and then some people, some people look at it like the telephone switchboard operators. Like, those are just gone. <laughs> <laughs> it's like when the automated uh switchboard came along like those mm -hmm. jobs. yeah i mean a lot of stuff it gets like a, a technical writer right now that's and that was like one of the things i went to school to do luckily i like fell into management because mm -hmm. uh, as a technical writer i would be scared oh god the, the dead internet theory um where like like ninety five percent of internet traffic is just bots talking to each other, arguing about yeah things they're programmed to argue about. <laughs> yep, a lot of the things that people argue about on social media were generated by bots. Mm -hmm. It's a, there's a lot of brain rot out there. Yeah, I, I think being skilled at spotting the the difference between what a bot is saying and what a human is saying is important. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you can uh, definitely so, see 
Nancy says, I'm surprised ATMs still exist. I just get cash back at the grocery store. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah, the only reason I go to an ATM instead of just like getting cash back at the grocery store is if I don't need to go to the store and I just don't want to get out of my car, but I need cash, which mm -hmm. is not very often. But there are definitely things like our patio collapsed. We went through our insurance. They sent us a check for a decent amount of money, enough money to cover the demolition and rebuilding of a new patio. And I don't want, like, I could technically deposit that check in the ATM, but for that amount of money, I want to talk to a person and make sure that it is going <laughs> in there. Yeah. So I went into the bank and made sure and there's a process that has to be approved by management. If it's over a certain amount of money, they release like X amount of money that day, X amount two days later and the rest a week later. Yep. And so that's how you find that out by talking to a person so that we know like, Hey, we can't pay for all of it until the state. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if we've updated anybody about that since it happened in January, but like just today, like everything is finished. They just had to finish some painting, but finally we have a new patio. Yay! Took a while. Yes. But yeah. So, yay well, for insurance. It, it didn't take very long once we had the insurance. Well, yeah. Check. Once you hire the contractor, the they want process. that money. They, yeah, they came yeah. in and did it. Did and, they do the thing where they give you half and then once the job's done, they pay the other half? Yeah, there was a deposit uh, we put in and then not I think the it was insurance like maybe we, company, though. Oh, no. So the insurance company, like there's a certain threshold where if 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 it's over a certain amount, you have to send it mm -hmm. to the mortgage company. The mortgage company pays the contractor. But mm -hmm. I think it was under 20000 to do everything. And so I think they, they just sent us a check. $25,000 was yeah. the threshold. They sent us that. a check and just said, hey, it's on y'all to find a contractor, get it rebuilt. Um, and so that's what we did. Very nice. Yeah. And they sent us a check for what they thought it would be less our deductible. Mm -hmm. But we found a contractor who did it within the amount that we were given. So we yeah. didn't have to. So we broke even. even. That's always nice. And I mean, it's a yeah. it, it's a it's a good patio that they built. Yeah, for sure. So it's nicer than the one we had before. Yeah, I would gonna... agree with that. So ATMs are a convenient item to is get uh, the art. Oh my god! <laughs> Jesus, just <Jesus> cry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What were you saying? Um, what was I saying? Uh, oh, is the RODI back on the outside? Yes, because weather's good. And um, I have a, a a smart plug set up to a pump on it with a hose that's like zip tied to the to the windowsill. So I go like above the sink, I open the window, hook up the Python if I want to uh, do any RODI filling. And then I've got a float valve on it. So it's all automated and awesome and stuff. So I'm, I'm enjoying that. And I'm doing RODI water changes, right trying to get them damn C123s to do something. They won't. That was a bad purchase. You hear that, Johnny? Freaking C123s. <laughs> so I have a, a thought. So he fixed the, the thing and he said, like, uh, Zen said it still needs Myrtle and he said yeah and spacing Matt was asking what um, what categories we needed and so that's where he came up with like FFL WTF lead for the leaderboard and WTF points to find out how many points you have what if it stays like this but maybe he fixes the spacing but maybe FFL WTF champ always gives Myrtle's name because cool. he's the, but that way like we can, that. like, people can see where they are. The mm -hmm. first five people who are actively playing. Yeah. I can get on board with that. That way we can always pull it up by finding out who the champ is. And we still get the information. Let's see. Well, 
why don't we uh okay i'm gonna type pixel logos i just typed refresh did you refresh. hear me typing loudly with the... no i didn't Barely. that is a mighty okay. fine uh desk mat you got there okay Very solving matted. a problem cool. <laughs> everyone order a myrtle sing desk mat do it now Are you pulling up the logo game first? Yeah, yeah. I think uh, we'll just go ahead and do all four of them. And I have logo. To go. And Eric, you can play, but in private chat if you'd like. Yeah. Okay. So who's that? <laughs> Me. <laughs> uh, so Foxy says sometimes pluck, uh, patios have to collapse for nicer ones to be mm -hmm. built in the. Oh, speaking of Foxy, uh, we never announced tomorrow. Tomorrow, tune in to the Fish Fam Link channel. <gasps> yes, I saw that. Because there's the monthly giveaway happening, and it's going to be uh, it's gonna be a $100 gift card to the Peplin Creek Aquatics mm -hmm. uh, Get Gills. My lobster. And I'll, I'll be doing the shopping. Yeah. No. Okay. Okay. Just two people. <laughs> yeah. Just two people. I was. Wow. He he got Good so timing. active in chat. Good timing. <laughs> All right. So we got Scotty and who else? Nancy. And Nancy. Nice. <laughs> some minor <laughs> snuck in. I mean, some minor think... snuck in. Uh, Amisa um, might have. Okay. Well, I'll give it to Amisa. With it. Zenny? No. <laughs> no, Zenny. <laughs> <laughs> he just he came in and started talking a lot. And I'm like, I wonder if people will. The colors. Will see that's it. Just pretty. Are so that's pretty. Distinctive. That's right. <laughs> I mean, we don't tell people ahead of time that we're using their logo, so no. it's 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 like, yeah. Right. Welcome in, Mike. Random. Hey, Mike. And fish hippie. Mike, Cheers. are you still in freaking Japan? And welcome, Can fish hippie. Yeah, he was at what Okinawa or something last mm -hmm. uh, uh, Wednesday night. Yeah. Pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Are you going to show right. the other ones to show that it's definitely his? Oh, yeah. I always forget to do that because, you know, no one the, believes the, me, the I guess. The reveal. I don't. Look. See? Oh, just see? two days see? back in Japan, back in Guam now. Uh, 28 days until I get to go home. Wow. That's a long time away from home. Yeah. Very long time. We appreciate you, Mike. Whatever you're doing, we appreciate yep. it. <laughs> I made this one a little difficult, and it's so difficult that I will be suspicious uh. if anybody gets it. Because, <laughs> like, this is nothing. What is this? It's nothing. <laughs> Why would we believe? <laughs> hey, guys, I'm on a bridge right now. <laughs> Can't give my full focus to the stream. Mm. <laughs> Sorry. Don't want to crash. Mm. <laughs> Welcome in, Window Licker. Just over here poking the bear. Hey, Window Licker. You know what I heard from Mike? What? That all lights are the same if you just blast enough of it at something. Uh. Mike loves to share very triggering posts from Facebook fish groups. Ugh. And someone on Facebook was just like, these lights, it was like some freaking $12. Someone asked light. It's the about, same as yeah, Shahira. Light. So all lights are the same. Like, oh, uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> light is light. <laughs> to an extent, but I mean, it looks like shit. <laughs> like right. really, and like there, 
certain certain colors and pigments come out in plants depending on the 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 spectrum you use but yeah i mean sure if you can do a tank on a budget i have i have budget tanks all right so no one no one knows what this is all mm -hmm. right let's see this one's not any better i didn't do a good job of like tearing this up to <laughs> in difficulty i am not repeating logos yet coro there's a lot of people in fish fam I mean, I will repeat a logo if someone changes their logo. So, I know oh Coro is working on his third logo now <laughs> so that he can get it. Let's see. Let's have you done my logo? I don't know. Yes, we have. Oh, damn. We did. Okay. Disregard that last <laughs> guess then. <laughs> yeah. Oh, your guess. It was like wrong. the first or second week. Really? I think I got it too. <laughs> Maybe it's me. Zenny said so. <laughs> Zen don't know. So uh, her change. point total would argue different. <laughs> <laughs> oh, secret word. New secret word. Yes. Oh, you yes. know what we have? We wait. Is there? Yeah, Matt messaged me at the beginning and asked for one, and I was like, "Oh, we probably should have one." And he you gave haven't a told me secret word. <laughs> <laughs> well, he, he gave a suggestion and I said, sure. And okay. it's automated. So I okay. haven't seen it, but also Fish Fam Link hasn't picked it up. Okay. All right. No one knows. So let's uh, move on to this. <laughs> this is worth one point. What? This is worth one no. point? No, no, no. Two no, no. Points, Sorry. Right? It's, worth, it's worth two points. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> but still. But still. The but secret still. word Fucking is a, a secret, even from you. <laughs> you. Yeah. <laughs> Super double secret probation. <laughs> Turd. <laughs> Jira. No, 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 no. Yeah, I think I really botched this one. I was in a yeah, hurry. Yeah, it hurts my brain. This was a hard yeah, one, one already for you to pick this pointillism <laughs> style. I'm pretty sure when I get to the next one, it like immediately becomes clear. So <laughs> just I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go to the 2.1. To so the 1.1? 1. 1? Uh, 1. 1, yeah, sorry. Yeah, now, now everyone. Yeah, it's it. pretty clear i mean it's pretty clear because I, I know what it is yeah yeah people oh if my gosh squint, i can't think of it if you squint you're gonna know yeah squint zoom out ah! away <laughs> oh it's only worth one point Man. and then you know memorize everybody's uh logos um oh. Let's see. Stephen P himself. I okay, I one. see. Okay, yep. Hold on. TJ. Okay. Up. Eric got and... it too. I said it. Oh, Eric, nice. Yep. So I Todd, Zen, and Scotty and Eric. Well oh, done. Goodness. There we go. Yeah. As soon as I saw it, I knew it, but I couldn't put the name in my head. <laughs> Because Larry D is an awesome human being. Zen Indeed said she said that earlier. Well, at least hold on. Let's see. Wait, how did, uh, did she? Let me look. I see. Don't always. She did at ten forty one. Oh, how many more points? She did at ten forty one. Um. Oh yeah, there it was. Um, Zen's honest, so I Zen, mean, was it worth two or three points when you said it? Hmm, but way back when you were saying stuff about new logos, yeah, we got it, we got it. None, none, none. Okay, I, yeah, she leave it. Ten points for this. Give her at three. least give her two points, okay. Give her three. I give mean, her, you should give her two points and then an extra point for uh, your ineptitude. I mean, I'm not mad, just disappointed. I mean, penalty points. Yeah. 
<laughs> so now she's 88 points. Uh, she's never going to catch up to Myrtle. And then <laughs> okay, in third place is Nancy <laughs> with 34 points. Nancy has a lot of work to do. <laughs> Rachel, fourth place with 28. Yeah. She's got a lot of coral to do. Let me work, 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 work. There it is. Larry D, awesome human being. Turn up the heat. Larry D was like one of the first people to uh, comment on my videos back in like 2019. Welcome in, Vincent. Uh, Howdy, Vincent. Coro said that she said he went back and watched the replay and she said it while it was four points. Okay. Well, let me add two more points. Now, Zen, you got 90 points. Welcome in, Debs. Uh, what are you, what right. are you doing, Matt? You're editing Myrtle's points. I mean, maybe he's, I don't know. He's probably messing with something. I'll just, I'll leave him to it. <laughs> Let him do. Hey, Debbie. Okay. Next. Okay. Yeah. Oh, this looks familiar. Zen said, I actually saw an odd amount of blue and was naming Orange all the blue people. <laughs> Orange Nabokov on says, dark on my the other. goal for the year is at least one. Uh, Nabokov fan, you you have some points. You've got uh, at, least, at least one point. Let me see. I mean, that should be everybody's goals. One point. Six points. Because then you're on the board, you get on the wheel. Yeah. Yeah. I only okay. see one correct answer. Yep. That's it. That's it. And it goes to... We're not to... missing it this time. It goes to Zen. <laughs> I saw her guess monster fish gal uh, earlier, but yeah. it's too early. Yeah, yeah. Matt sent yeah. you some messages that might explain it. Okay, maybe well, is it when? When did Big Cat say this? Wait, did it? Let me look at private chat. Nope, Eric. Nope, not even close. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Big Cat said Monster Fish Gal, but we don't know. I don't know well, when. No, I think it was after. I guess, I guess someone with orange in their logo, though. <laughs> yeah. Is Monster Fish Gal's logo a betta fish? Yeah. Looks That's like not it. a monster fish. Yeah, it is. Every, and every heart of they're, every beta is a monster. <laughs> it's like your unadulterated monster. <laughs> Oh, no clouds, no clouds, no clouds, no clouds. I'm really close to the path of totality. Not in the path, but um, like I could drive an hour south and be at 99.8, you know. So we're I, think, really, I think we're in the 80s. Yeah. Yeah. We're like in the high 90s, I think, actually. Nice. I think we're in the high 80s. They're, um, they sent us a permission slip that we had to sign for our kids at school. They're going to give all the kids. So I well, hereby in. give you permission to look fourth at the grade, sun. Fourth grade, uh, I had a substitute teacher the day of the eclipse, and we had indoor recess so that kids wouldn't go outside and like look at the eclipse <laughs> and whatnot. And so it was happening around lunchtime, and my mom um, came in. She had three pairs of solar glasses and was just like, the substitute teacher was like, um, what are you doing? She's like, oh, I'm just going to take my son out the back because like every classroom had a back door to the to the playground. You didn't have to like go out into the hallway and then uh, every single door had a door. So she's just like, I don't think you can do <laughs> Did we sign Lillian's followed. Yes. And she made us yes, all stand in the signed. shadow. Oh. You froze for a second, Eric. And you froze again. 
Welcome, wait, welcome in, Lori. You came in just in time to miss your logo. Yeah. Oh. And uh, who else came in? Hey, um, I know that logo. Jin Yu. Jin Yu. Also hey, Jin Yu. Jin Yu. Lori. All right. I thought, well, okay, when I get to the next tier of this is going to be super easy yeah well well before you did that though we had one well i'll be damned <laughs> okay okay she got that before you clicked it zinger came to play <laughs> <laughs> or else her eyes have gotten really bad <laughs> <laughs> Oh, these God. are all clear as day, Stephen. You really <laughs> lost your touch. Mm -hmm. What is what is this? Tw Twenty five and a half pixels. What is this? <laughs> yeah, there's a half pixel down there. Oh man, what a bit like? Okay, all right. Coro says Xana, dude. We giving Coro any any credit? Okay. We giving Rachel any credit? They're good for it. <laughs> <laughs> Zen's been crying a lot. Maybe the screw vision helped. Yeah. <laughs> Obey. Obey. I took what? all these logos from uh I didn't know his night. glasses said it. And I was like, <laughs> what what are you insinuating about Mark? Obey, Jenna, obey. <laughs> Comply. Resistance is futile. <laughs> uh, are you ready for me to push a button? Yeah. Refresh, 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 refresh. Really quick. Jen, you four ninety nine super sticker. Thank you very much. Conefish. Conefish. Here we go. Should be a fairly easy theme, I think. Some easyish fish. Mm. Uh, Steven, did you draw it? Yeah. Yes. If it's good, yeah, anytime Steven you drew see it. the, I mean, no, anytime you see the like, like, <laughs> like freaking, yeah, here, like, yeah, no, 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 no. I said, yeah, I drew it. Anytime you see the sketchy McSketcherson lines, that's me. They cannot draw a straight line. <laughs> well, okay. okay. I'm seeing. Is... I think Gina. Gina got it first. Let me. Ugh. The one I didn't. Is I'm then trying to yeah. I have Gina. guess the theme before the fish, and then Zen. Gina Zen Nabokov, and then Nabokov. What? what uh What bird was that? Cardinal. Oh. Then you have a finch, and then American crow. Caw, caw, caw! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Sheena is a punk. <laughs> Theme is Easter. Yeah. That would be a good idea, but it's not. If anyone watched Graham's stream earlier, he had a very interesting Easter <laughs> quiz. <laughs> that was the worst quiz ever. Did not the you first know quiz that did Easter with is one. on April 17th every year? At some point it was, I guess. <laughs> uh, welcome in, Gordon. Uh, Aquarium Talk TV. That's the AI that you got to watch out for. 
<laughs> I, that quiz was clearly made by a child. <laughs> okay. Next fish coming up. But yes, indeed. Cardinal Tetra. I drawed it. Wait, did Eric get it next? No. No, no he gets Neon Tetra. No, <laughs> not the neon. same thing. Neon Diamond. Because they had diamonds on the scale. Project Piaba Cares theme, Neon Tetra, Top Sellers I theme. I thought it was Earth theme. No? No. No. No, no, no. That's a, that's a good theme, though. That's why I was doing it's the, not the, the right card theme. <laughs> Nano Tetra theme. Well, well, well. I don't know. Is this is even this a Tetra? I don't know. Jenna drew this one though. Uh, clearly. Why clearly? It's good. <laughs> it's it's not, fine. It's, it's, it's not. so it's much better good. than yours. It's so much better than Steven's. No. So obviously, it's Jenna's. <laughs> Serpe, red, blue, clummy, and tetra. Oh, everyone thinking it's a tetra, huh? With ick. <laughs> he drew some fungus on it or something. What? It's it was shiny in the picture. Oh, Nabokov. It's a bye, Eric. Fine, just fucking leave. You know because <laughs> what? he just left. <laughs> Die before you have them fish. That's that's a good guess, Bunny, for sure. It's <laughs> pretty Freaking accurate. Cardinal Tetras and then blankety blank. I saw something that was. I, you know what? I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it to Nabokov, and then I'm also going to give it to uh, Amisa. Yeah. So Nabokov said a Rasboro of some type. Yeah. Then he said Axel. Axel yeah. Uh huh. So for sure, and and that is what it is. It's a blue axle rod eye. Yep, Raspora. Scotty, so you copied and you were late. No points for you. Scotty, be honest. Yeah, there. I know that there is a. 10 to 15 second delay. And that's all you get. That you get 15 seconds of grace. So no one said the theme yet, but like, I mean, think about what that first fish was. And what that, think what about what the fish was and what this what this third fish is. Where did you go, Eric? So I'm in chat. Well, so. you know what? There we go. Good job. There we Steve. got it. We got it. The theme. Axelrod. Let's see. That should make it pretty damn easy <laughs> to guess the remaining fish, right? <laughs> panda Cory. That is Cory Doris Panda. Well, okay. So we got yeah. Big Steve. We got. Kayla and and Scotty can have this point. All right. Don't be greedy, Scotty. You get this point. This is Fun also fact. known. Hmm? This is also known as the pink corridoras. Yeah, which we did last year. All right. Mm -hmm. It's the theme, and I like Corey, so you know. More Corey is the better. It's fun fact. Herbert Axelrod was an asshole and a swindler. So let's celebrate his name. He has a lot of <laughs> fish named after him. I was reading an article about him uh, last night, actually. And uh, he is... Man, that dude sucked. <laughs> he did some prison time for tax evasion. <laughs> he uh, he pretended <laughs> wish that should be named after someone else. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 
he made up a story about going to uh going to like rio negro and like actually like discovering the uh cardinal tetra himself but he definitely didn't do that he just like got them from a distributor and was like oh these are different from the neons swindler tetra all right let's let this finish Odds are that uh, this next fish is probably going to be an axle <laughs> rod of some sort. <laughs> Very well. Tra tra See, they say that about your fish. They say that about the fish that I'm into. When I'm feeling it and I want to like spend some time on drawing the fish, then, you know, I'll, 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 I'll do a pretty decent job. Look up Schwartz eye, Corey. I mean, going from memory, that was a fun one. Did you read Al Klee's article on Axelrod? No, but I might look that up later. I, I, I've read some things uh, like over some time. And yeah, there, there's so, really, there's not a whole lot, <laughs> not a whole lot of good. So send to Danio Axelrod. I, that's the, that was the Raspora that we already did. Oh, uh, yeah. And there I think I'm back. Welcome back. We can hear Welcome you. in, Noel. Noel Brucker. Goodbye. Noel Brucker. The Gilderoy Lockhart of the fish world. <laughs> nice. So I don't think we should accept Axelrod I Tetra because, like, the Cardinal Tetra was an Axelrod I Tetra. I think Correct. we need either the scientific name or the common name, which I know both. It's a very very, tetra. Yeah. Yeah. Fish that hope no, there's no there half and... point because you have the internet. You can figure it out. I'm You're just... on the internet currently. I, I believe in you. Decimals. <laughs> <laughs> I don't actually know the full scientific name of this one. Well, it's a very common tetra first scientific name so eric typed in chat about a minute ago axelrod i theme now i i can be sympathetic to your internet woes but so alishan <laughs> and right. sc catahoulas <laughs> and give scotty his drunk point <laughs> so i for right guys Okay, you said Alishan, Scotty, who else? And SC Cat. So okay. this is the common name, the Calypso Tetra. And yes, it's a Hyveso Brycon. Hyveso Brycon. All righty. Hey, Coral Aquatic Reef. Welcome. Eric, you're like, what are you even doing, Eric? Car. And in private chat. <laughs> lemon. No, it's, 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 the axle, lemon tetra. Yeah, it's the axle rod eye theme. Yeah. Steve got it. <laughs> Jim, you I'm said, drunk I'm drunk. <laughs> if you're drinking, you get no Did points. The but hey, at least you're at least no? you're drunk. Yeah, yeah, but late. Yeah, yeah, Steve got it. Ah, well, Damn you internet one, two, oh, uh, Johnny, nope, three. It's it's a chalatharina, right? Yeah, yeah it is. Yeah. So let's see what you the uh, Melanotania Herbert Axelrod is a yellow fish, isn't yeah, it? Nancy, Nancy, Coro, and Zen. Zen, yep, that was your hundredth. 100th point triple digits God, triple digits and it's only march that's crazy Boom. how did you get that so fast nancy Damn. she is she is waiting for it she, she's probably like rainbow fish axel rod and just like waiting knowing that you oh. would draw 
I, I mean, if, 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 if you were existed. strategic, you started looking up like what what else was named after this dude. <laughs> Yeah, while you were away, Eric, we were we were talking about the legacy of Herbert Axelrod and like how there's like zero nice stories about him. Maybe there's Eric has some... a nice story about him. Tell me about your time with Herbert Axelrod. What kind of lies <laughs> did he tell you? <laughs> yeah, the well, dude just I, like made I, up shit. About... I was only seven when he kicked me in the shin. Um <laughs> <laughs> Like he made a lot of claims. I guess he ran a business selling fish. So, you know, I guess whatever makes money, right? Right. Yeah, there is a cryptocore in Axelrod, and I have it. It's not a bad crypt. Yeah, just, you know. And we needed more plants. I didn't even think about that. That's we, right. I have it in my tank too. Yeah. It's ever it was he even actually a doctor? I don't know. Yeah, I drew this rainbow fish, but it was it was I was tired. Wasn't feeling it. Still better anything. <laughs> okay, I can be I perfect can again tomorrow. I am never perfect. There are zero days where I'm perfect. I think you're perfect. I need you to be that's perfect because I'm codependent. Oh, that's way too much pressure. <laughs> I'm a codependent man. I was watching that's a just, TikTok. That's yeah. redundant. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I need a full-time babysitter. Yeah, I was watching a TikTok that was saying like the quality of, the quality of life for a widow is higher than that of a widower. Like when a man loses his wife, his life just goes to complete shit. I believe it. Corey Doris Evelyn A. Interesting. Yes, he has a doctor. <laughs> Eric, what would you do without Gina? What is happening? Oh, you froze. I <laughs> thought you were like... Oh, but... That's what he would do without Gina. That's... <laughs> Is it okay to harass someone about a prize one in a good, clean, fun way? Did we not send you a prize, Nathan, that you won and we forgot? I don't think I don't so. Know. Usually we're pretty good about that. I don't it, think it we have any... like it, it makes me anxious when I know that we have stuff to ship that we haven't shipped yet. So I try to get like get that done. Nathan, please confirm if if we <laughs> yeah. forgot to send you something. <laughs> <laughs> but like i don't even have i don't have the expectation expectation for any other prize i win on any channel i in fact when i win a prize i'm like i'm not gonna get it not that's like not a judgment against the person but i just i <laughs> don't have it in my mind anymore oh not us but oh. a certain <laughs> oh oh eric yeah i think i had to like meet eric in person to get Something that I want. I don't know. Cora says, why cook for myself? I can just smoke a bowl and stare at the wall and sit. But how, like, you have to eat when, when you're done with the bowl. Like, how do you not eat? I, I guess once you're done with the bowl, you did anything. Well, he fine. said, literally, even though I do all the cooking, if I was single, I would starve to death. Yeah, well, because he has another human who also needs to eat that's the thing like external motivation is important L like i wouldn't i wouldn't starve with children to feed but if i was by yeah. myself things wouldn't go so well yeah we won't eat no clean clothes no nothing we're screwed <laughs> i never, I never stop, stop eating, eating. <laughs> that's also a good way to ensure you don't starve is to just constantly consume food so it's weird because whenever I didn't work at home, whenever I was a teacher, like you got yourself up, you fed yourself, you put the kids on the bus and I did got them off the bus. Cause that, and now like 
I check on you and sometimes you sleep through your alarm and like, thank God I'm here. <laughs> and you. Yeah. Do you understand? You just what starve until means? I ask if you want lunch. It's because I, I know that you're going to do it. That's the thing. You spoil me. <laughs> so I should stop. Well, if you did stop for a time, things would be bad. And then I guess I would adapt so that I didn't lose my job or die of starvation. So, yeah, it's your, yeah, exactly. Rachel said it's your fault, Jenna. Mm -hmm. All right. What are we what are we uh, giving away here tonight? This guppy. guppy. It is. It's a silver a... guppy. Onyx Mist. Onyx Mist Guppy. Hashtag codependent. Yes, okay. Giveaway created. Hashtag okay. codependent. It is. <laughs> codependent is what I am. I rely on someone else depending on me. You're just dependent. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just helpless. well okay so there are things that you do like you are in charge of all of the bills that are related to you or us so like I am in right. charge of my and student I, loan and I always but... have been and so therefore I will uh I will do that yeah so like I that's something I don't have to even worry about and think about and you, if I asked you to do something, which I don't like to do, but if I need to, <laughs> then you, you do it like you did get the kids on and off the bus whenever I wasn't here to do it. The other day, it's you I had to bring Zachary to for a field trip. I had to have him at school at like 6.15 in the morning, and that's normally what time Lillian goes out to the bus. So I had to like leave the house at like 555 with Zachary. <laughs> and so you helped get Lillian on the bus. Hey Brooklyn. She'll have to catch some replay in the morning at dinner with some friends from out of town. Love um, you too, Brooklyn. Go oh she asked what is the giveaway? It is it's a little this on Jesus, right. And Finally check your spelling. Check your spelling because uh -oh. I saw Gina said code dependent with a T. Yeah, that won't work. Yeah, you'll hush and you'll like it. Her daughter has been <laughs> waiting on the wheel. So, yeah, with uh, this wheel, you can only be entered once. So, if you're unsure, about spelling um it'll only pick it up once no matter how many times don't spam the chat but if you're unsure about your spelling it's not a big deal spamming the chat just increases engagement right youtube is like wow you had a lot of people chatting in your stream guy we'll push it out to more people that's how that works right <laughs> yeah there if you need spelling hashtag yeah. codependent Nancy P said I'm always unsure about my spelling Al Night Owl welcome uh, Al Gore's rhythm improves the more we chat Not, no Eric's in chat I don't know how the algorithm works I just do things and, and exp I, like I just put things oh, out there and expect nothing, and then I'm never disappointed. And Eric said I would die without Argina. <laughs> views, 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 clicks, 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 clicks. I am working on a uh, on another video. Well, I completed 
the script for another video. Because yes, I script I script my content because I do voiceovers. And it seems to work out for me at least. <laughs> Got a story to share, says Oinky. Today my dad there looked at my tank. What happened to your fish? Two weeks ago, I swapped my Dalmatian Molly for my baby ghost knife. He just noticed. Uh... <laughs> Tell him, mate, that's just what Mollies do. It lost its spots. Yeah. Got. When they, well, when they big, grow yeah, up, they lose their spots. Just tell them, like, hey, wait another few months. Watch how big this Molly gets. <laughs> <laughs> Had to leave the room to laugh. That's great. Man, your ghost knife is getting huge. Well, I don't know if it's grown a lot, but like it, it, it grew really fast. Yeah. Doesn't doesn't really it, like the thing about ghost knives though they don't need like a lot of swimming room they just kind of stay in one spot until you're not looking at them and then they're like I'm gonna go eat all the food. Yeah, and maybe some like baby fish. Kalish says light count is a little light, folks. Yeah, YouTube doesn't like that either. YouTube wants you to keep looking at the screen keep like doing the 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 things with the clicks and the and the swipes and the watching the ads or whatever also if i can make a little promotional thing uh just because this will be coming up again soon in the next few weeks um Shady Grady got the last set of these What the Fish cards. And oh, yeah, we ordered an entire new uh, new set so of them. So we have 10 That's more a... coming, but one is already actually accounted for. So there will be nine more. Um, so you can have another chance if you'd like them, or we might do some giveaways or something. But... We had one more that we needed to have because I wanted to keep mine that I had opened. So, yeah, demand was was higher than we expected, which is yeah. cool. Not that we're like making a profit off of these; they're just kind of like no. if anyone wants them, we will sell them to you at cost with shipping. When are we going to get the what the fish tarot cards? <laughs> You have the sea bishop, which means uh, your life is fucked. Hey, hate to put you on the spot, but when do you think you'll be ready to talk about our our new game? You know what? You know what? Maybe we'll talk about it tomorrow at the on the Fish Fam Link stream. Yeah, uh, the stream. We we we've had uh we've had a new fun thing in the works that integrates with Fish Fam Link. It's just a game, a, a no stakes, just fucking around kind of game uh, that Matt incorporated into the site. It was, it was something that uh, that Myrtle was involved in, in, in uh, you know, helping develop. So yeah, we'll talk about it tomorrow. So if you're not interested yeah. in winning a gift card, you might be interested in hearing about something new and fun just to, to pass the time mm -hmm. tomorrow. All right, let me refresh one more time. We got 40 entries. And while we're waiting for more people to enter, um, Scotty says, Clash Show, a class sponsorship going live Monday. So if you want to sponsor a class uh, for the Clash, for the comp fish competition, uh, 5 p.m. Central, Benjamin, tomorrow on the Fish mm -hmm. Fan Link channel. $100 uh, Peplin Creek Aquatics uh, Get Gill Store giveaway and uh, an announcement about a game. If As long as someone reminds me to talk about it because I'm going to forget immediately. Yeah. Yeah. So. And, right, I mean, we can two. talk about the game 
other like it's going to be available on fish fam link so like anyone can talk about yeah. it once it's initially announced and people know about it but we can talk about it next friday too just yeah. in case but it shall be officially announced tomorrow Just because I don't have any of the things like queued up and yeah. ready. Well, right as long as Matt's okay with that too, since <laughs> I, he's the one pushing it, so <laughs> it's just that's what that's what's gonna happen now. <laughs> All right, forty-two entries. Oh, fish alley. That's punny. It's punnerific. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and spin because it's uh. It is 10.21. Just yeah. the wheel. So, and yes, yeah, so every time Matt puts out a tip jar that we don't really have any control over him putting it out there, and we always like tell him that we're going to put the money back into Fish Fam Link in some way, whether it's to help with like sponsoring something or just putting it back into something for the channel. Um, but tomorrow, anything that goes in the tip jar, we are going to text Myrtle's parents and see, is it something that they would like or is there a special cause they would like us to donate that in Myrtle's name? Like he was heavily involved in music so we could donate it to his high school music program or to yeah, another I think charity. That would be good. Yeah. Indeed. All right. Spinny time. And for anyone mm -hmm. who is, is new, this is the wheel of you lose. So like if it lands on your name, that's a bad thing because it means you lose. I don't hear any music. What? Wait. Maybe was it too quiet? Hold on. Mm -mm. All right. Oh wait, I heard shell spiral shell, but I didn't hear the music. But you heard that? Uh, okay, hold on. Let me just try again. Okay. The song is Sound of Silence. <laughs> Hello, darkness, my old friend. This plaque might have Axel Rod Eye on it. <laughs> okay. How about now? Mm -hmm. Benjamin Peters. Benjamin. Eric Wyrock. Eric Hells Bells. Our Aquatic Universe W. Might be. Yeah, we got to hear all the, all this music is, well, most of it was created by Myrtle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oink Master Supreme F or Rev. Oinky. Bluefish. Bluefish. Melissa. Melissa. This was not Myrtle. No. <laughs> Dennis Christensen. This was Annette. <laughs> Dennis. Scotty the Fish Freak. Scotty. Foxy's fishes. Foxy. Liquid zoo. Only fins. Matt. Nabokoffin eighty seven. Nabokov. Nabokoffin. Bunny viper. Bunny viper. Where is Annette? MSG, if you're watching, we missed you. She better be listening. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, is it okay for a Val tank to have just ambient Is it light? okay for a Val tank? Why were you repeating what I was saying? I said it first. Uh, oh my god! Yeah, it's it's fine. It's Val. It's you know, it'll be all right. Kalish. Kalish. Darlene's tanks. Thank you, Zenger. Darlene. Dibs Aqua Pets. Debbie. Maybe yeah, there's I, lag. There's probably lag. Bullshit. You're just not listening to me. I don't blame you, but, uh, you know, don't deny it. Boots, cats, boots, cats. Boots, cats, Rachel. <laughs> Andy Carson. Andy Carson. Monster fish gal. Lori. Johnny Dan's fish. Johnny. Skipper's Aquariums. Skipper. Only Oscars. June. Nathan Hubby. Nathan. Peplin Creek Aquatics. Peplin. Window liquor number five. Window liquor. Sandy Dowdy. Sandy Dowdy. Big Cat. Big Cat. The wheel is rigged. Yes, I agree, June. But I'm not the one rigging it, so not my problem. <laughs> Matt's perfect grammar. Yep. Big cat. Coro works. Coro works. Linda Worth. Squares are better. <laughs> <laughs> you need a square if you lose. How would that oh. work? For the same exact way, just weird. Just uh, how do you divide the? I don't know. I'm sure virtually it would just spin and it wouldn't make a difference. But could no. Matt make a square that like clunkily moves? Mark Strilson. Mark. Alishan as. Alishan. I'm just Legacy LLC. Melvin. Kara C. Kara. Nitol Aquatics. Nitol. Shady Grady. Shady Grady. The lips. Ellipse of you lose. <laughs> Daniel Velez. Daniel Velez. SC Catahoulas. SC Cat House. All right. So, final four Zen, Ginger, Gina's Reef, Mountain Greenery, and Aquarium Talk TV. <laughs> Gina's Reef. Gina. Aquarium Talk TV. Ah, uh, Gordon. So the wheel doesn't like it when you talk and chat for some reason. It just, yeah. 
if you ever acknowledge your your position on the wheel, the wheel is like fuck off and it kicks you off. I don't know. I don't know why. Theme today is Zen wins. Nabokov, it's gonna be your fault. <laughs> the Zen Ginger. No Told matter you. what, it was his fault. Yeah, yeah. like a 57 sided die. Yeah, can Matt make a giveaway die that <laughs> just grows in size based on the number of names? <laughs> Oh my God. And a D40. D50 something. Sorry, Zen. Mountain Greenery. Congrats. Yeah. Is Mountain Greenery's address the same address as Big Cat? I assume so. And uh, they are in uh, Canada. Canada. Da, da, da. And mm -hmm. I just sent them something recently. So I have their address. Yeah. And all. So. I know as where long you as live. It's the same address. Yeah. I, yeah, okay. <laughs> it's the same address. We know where you live. Mountain Greenery. Cool. Congrats. Um, we're going to go to bed. Well, Jenna's going to go to bed, and I'm going to stay <laughs> up all night in uh, ADHD paralysis with all the stuff <laughs> I got to do. I'm not going to do any of it, but you know. <laughs> Just gonna think about it, think yeah. really hard about it. Maybe do some more water changes. All righty. Well, thank you very much to everyone who who joined us, and um, mm -hmm. we will see you next week. I'm not well. I'll see you tomorrow. We'll, we'll for the Fish Fam Link uh, yeah. stream. I don't know if we're gonna be doing wet your plants on Monday. Um, I'll I'll talk to Kelly again, but um, as I said, we're gonna be back. Um, but you know, we just, we need some time, obviously. And skippers in search of water Sprite. I do not have any water Sprite because that it just like took over tanks. Anytime I put it in there. So I don't have it anymore, but if anyone's got some water Sprite for skipper, he is looking for it. Alrighty. See y'all later. Good night. Bye.